Mina, come on why, Jesus freaking gamer here. A little bit further away from the camera, hopefully y'all can hear me okay. Well, I'm loud. That shouldn't be a problem at all. I was just about to read my daily Bible chapter, and before I even read it, a thought just from the title, and I'm, I think that's what I'm supposed to call the beginning parts of the Psalms before the actual verse. Pretty sure it's how, so I'm going to stick with that. I think I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to try to stick with that. Anyway. To the chief musician set to the silent dove in distant lands, a meek time of David when the Philistines captured him in Gath. It just occurred to me when I read this, I've read several titles in these psalms, and a lot of them have to do with David in a really rough spot. Things are not going well for him. And it's just interesting to me how these sweet, sweet psalms, these cries for help, these honest assessments of, I'm weak, I can't do this. You know, people are coming up against me. I don't have the strength to fight them. Despite the fact that he was a great warrior. Despite the fact that he was a king. He couldn't win all of his battles. He couldn't do all the things required of him. He needed help. And out of these times of adversity, and out of these hard times, these beautiful psalms that are very, very encouraging to us, who are also going through hard times, were written. And they exist to this day to help us, to move us forward. It's just really cool. Like, whenever you're going through a hard time, yes, definitely pray to God for help and ask Him to give you deliverance out of the hard time that you're in. And remember that He is God. Remember that He can use even these hard times for your sake. You read a lot of the stuff in the Old Testament, and a lot of, a lot of the really powerful men and women in the Old Testament, they had to go through quite some trials and tribulations before they got to the prize at the end. Even our very salvation and our going to heaven was purchased with the death of Jesus on the cross, which is an incredibly horrific death. The word excruciating came from the phrase, or the Greek phrase, out of the cross. I forget what the exact Greek term was, but we got a word to define pain based from the cross, because the cross itself was so painful. And that's the death that Jesus died. He died a death that literally, they came up with a new word to define pain, because it was that bad. And something that horrendous brought us a beautiful, miraculous salvation. So, I would dare to say, look forward to the troubled times. I, I'm, I feel like I'm almost preaching this against myself, because I know I'm going to go through some hard times in the future, and I'm going to need to keep and hold to my own word here, words here, doggone it. But yeah, Look forward to the hard times. Em whoop, oh, sorry about that. Embrace adversity. Because God's going to use you through those hard times. And he's going to minister to people through your suffering and through your pain. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.